Hi, I'm Mr. Sam, the allotment man, and today we're here at B and Q. Right, so here we are in B&Q, we're having a look at the tools. They've got lots of tools, but what's best, what's good and what's rubbish? Let's have a look. So there's lots of tools available here at B&Q, uh, from the top range to the bottom range. We are going to have a look first of all at the value range. Right then, let's have a look at that value range. It's over here. Right, first of all we've got a spade. It's very spadey. It's got a spade end at this end and it's got a handle at this end. It is a big whopping. 798. Great value. I've got one. Works well. Okay, what else have we got here? We have got a rake. The rake retails at £6.48. Can you believe it? Rake end at this end, handle at this end. Now, uh, my rake was all right. Uh, one of the prongs broke off in the first day, but that's all that's happened to it. But for £6.48, you can't go wrong. I'd suggest this one any day of the week. Also, uh, we've got, uh, making a mess here, fork. There we go, fork fork handle. Does the same as the spade but forks. There you are. Uh, about £7.50. You can't go wrong. There's the value range. Let's have a look at something a little bit more expensive. Right, we're going a little bit more up market at this point. Now, here we are. We're looking at a Fisker's spade. It's a power digging spade. It's, uh, it's all a little bit bent. As you see, it's got a little bit of tape on it, but don't worry about that. A little bit bent to make it a little bit easier to dig. Now, I'd love a spade like this. I really would. Uh, 30 quid's quite a lot of money, but I think it'll be worth it. It won't rust and it's nice and slippery. Um, but the only problem is, if, if I put this in my shed down the allotment, next time we get broken into, this will disappear. So uh, that's the only thing um, with buying good stuff for down the allotment, unless you've got fork knocks. But um, we've got different things here. We've got um, Verve, which is a B&Q range. This is £22, that's a fork. And that, that's pretty smart, actually. That's, that's nice. Uh, I think that's stainless steel and all that sort of stuff. Work very well in the garden. Uh, 22 quid, uh, quite reasonable. And light, which is nice. Uh, as you can see, they've got the full range here. Uh, this is all, uh, I think they're carbon or something or other. But they're quite light. Another verb rake. Uh, that's not going to break on you. I mean, look at that. Good quality there. Not going to go anywhere. Uh, good rake from verb. Uh, you could spend an absolute fortune on your tools, uh, or like me, you don't spend anything at all. In the end, you'll be able to dig, you'll be able to uh, fork, you'll be able to rake, whatever you choose. Uh, so the choice is up to you. My recommendation is value. Value all the way. You can't lose. Uh, now, let's go and have a look and see what else B&Q have got to offer. Right, so here we are at Hand Tools. Let's see what they've got to offer. Right. We've got a big range here in Verb. Uh, good quality stuff for Verb. Very nice and shiny. We like it. Uh, six quid for a trowel. Not bad at all. Uh, moving down to the different green. Okay, uh, four ninety-eight for a trowel. But my personal favourite. This is what I have got. I have got uh, one of these combos here. Uh, got a trowel, plastic. Okay, uh, fork, plastic. Smaller trowel, plastic. Get them all for two pound ninety-eight. You can't go wrong, and it won't rust. So there we are. Um, very good. Also, for my carrot bed, uh, we're doing raised bed, and what we need is a sieve. Okay, so we've got this posh sieve here. This is twelve ninety eight. Okay, and you get two two meshes in there. Nice fine mesh and a not so fine mesh. All right. I'm not going to mess about with that. I'm going to go with this one. Uh, this is the Verve one, uh, garden sieve. Bang it out at seven ninety eight. Uh, just got one mesh, so we're not going to have to mess around with that. Um, and I think that's going to be fine enough for our carrots. So there you go. Um, garden sieve, make sure our carrots go straight and true. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, we've got an axe. I have no need for an axe, so I just wanted to pick it up. There we are. Um, uh, there we are. That's about it for hand tools. Uh, let's go and have a look at some bigger hand tools. Right, here we are at the secateurs and uh, things like that. We've got scissors. Um, personally, I just use scissors uh, from the kitchen. The wife doesn't like it, but I use them anyway. So uh, we've got scissors here uh, and we've got some secateurs. These are nice. Um, I'm going to buy a pair of these. There we are. Um, verb jobs. 
Uh, they just need a little bit of oil on them because obviously they've just been on the shelf for ages and people have been playing with them. Uh, but they are, uh, what are they, 4 98 Can't go wrong with that, can you? 4 98 uh, So that's going to go on there. Um, we've got the really value ones down here. That's 6 98 for two. Um, I haven't tried them. They look all right, but I, I, I like the green ones there. Um, and we've got the big loppers up here. I don't know if you can still see me. Uh, big loppers up here. That is for your serious work. So if you've got apple trees that are quite old and things like that, and you need to get through the big branches, these ones uh, are, well, they're just amazing, to be honest. Uh, 36.98, you can't go bad. Uh, they've got a great hinge system on here. Don't know if you can see that hinge system there, which uh, it, it times your power by three. So if you can push, like, I don't know, 10 pounds, it'll, it'll do 30 pounds worth of pressure between those jaws and obviously ramp it up by three every time. Uh, the meatier you are, the better you are. If you're not meaty, you'll only do a pencil. But they're brilliant, they are. Um, when my apple trees get bigger, in about 10 years' time, I'll need one of them. But as we go, I'm just going to use them. Now, we're going to go and have a look in the hothouse, which is over there, uh, to see what they've got on offer. Let's have a look. Here we are in the hothouse. This is where they keep all the seeds and all the plants and all the weed killers and anything you might want to throw on your allotment. So let's see what they've got. So it seems they've got it well sorted out here at B&Q. Uh, go over there and you'll kill it. Go over there and you'll grow it. But first of all, what have we got here? We have got Verbs potato seeds, okay? Uh, they are £3.48 for a pack. Uh, there's a pack, there you go. Or you can get two for six quid, which is all right. So um, I don't know what the green ones are. Um, Aaron Pilot, there you go. Uh, they've got first early, second early's, and main crop. Uh, Aaron Pilot, Pentland Javelin, Charlotte Desiree, King Edward, and Maris Piper. So uh, if you're getting stuck for your potatoes, they've got tons of them here. And they've also got potato food. I've never used it, probably won't. I just bung it in the ground and see what happens. But these look quite healthy uh, things here. So, oh, oh, hang on. They've got a clearance sticker on it for, uh, oh, for the potato food, three quid. There you go, worth a try. So uh, they've got potatoes in. Let's see what they've got over there, first of all. Here we go. So here we are on the growing side of the hothouse. What have we got? We've got tomato right. We've got uh, grow your own miracle grow stuff. We've got verb, fruit and vegetable plant concentrate. It's all here. It's basically down to you what you decide to have. Um, I'm going to try some of this for this year. Miracle Grow. Okay, uh, fruit and vegetable plant food. See how it goes. Uh, see how it does. Um, down the bottom, we've got chicken manure. As you'll probably know, chicken manure is good. Uh, after, I don't know, a couple of weeks or so, start spreading it on your ground. Uh, it'll start being soaked in. Well, I think that's what you do anyway. If I'm wrong, tell me. Uh, and it'll start getting into the ground. Don't put it on your ground straight away and then plant straight away, because it'll be too, too much for the plants. It needs to soak into the ground a little bit, all right? So, chicken uh, manure down there, and lots of bits and pieces. Look at that, you can even get this thing. I don't know what that does. That, that goes on your, on your hose pipe. Put your miracle feed in there, and you can just have shh. Which is all right, uh, probably for your garden more than the allotment, to be honest. So there we are, that's that. Let's go and have a look over there. Right, people, we're on the other side of the hothouse now. This is where you kill stuff. Very exciting. We love it. We love it. Right, OK. So what we got? We've got Roundup. We all know about Roundup. Uh, Resolver. Never used it. Uh, Roundup, Roundup, Roundup. Uh, Weedle. A lot of people swear by Weedle. We like it. Uh, Verve. Root killing weed killer. I used that last year. Uh, and it does work. It works really well. And it's a bit cheaper than the rest of it. But something I'm going to try this year um, is this stuff. Uh, there we go. It is the Weed Oil Max. Oh, yes. Uh, it says it's got visible results in hours. Hmm. That's all right, isn't it? Okay. There we are. We've got some of that. But I also going to have some of this. Okay. The Weed Oil Fast Acting Weed Killer. Visible results in one hour. That is unbelievable. One hour uh, visible results. We'll see if it does what it says it does. So there we are. Now, uh, you can be spending a lot of money on weed killer, 11.98, um, 4.48, that's pretty good, just for a small one. There we are. Um, to be honest, I'm just getting a small one because I don't need a lot. It's really for my paths and stuff. I'm not going to use it where I'm growing stuff. 
just the piles to keep the stuff down. You don't want to be spraying a lot of this stuff on where you grow your food, because obviously, if you put it on the ground, you're going to eat it at some point, so don't do it. All right, so there we are. So that's good. And by the way, last year, I used this uh, Roundup Weed Killer Gel. I used that on my um, weeds. Uh, what was it now? Uh, bindweed, that's what I used it on. It was very good. You just put it on the leaves uh, and it sucked it up. And also, uh, I did my little tip, I don't know if uh, you remember, of um, putting all the bindweed into a, like a ball and shoving it into a bucket uh, of weed killer. It drunk it all up as well. So with this and that, it worked really well. I haven't got any bindweed anymore, which is lovely. So that goes up there. All right. So uh, that's how to kill stuff. Let's get on with a little bit more of growing stuff. Right, it's time to grow things. So what are we going to put in the ground this year? I've got a lot of seeds from my allotment association because obviously we get heavy discounts at the allotment association. But look at this. I look at this. Beginner's vegetable collection. Now I am a beginner really because I've only been doing it a year and we had moderate success. Um, 4 98 we've got carrots, we've got onions, uh, we've got some other bits and pieces. Now what we're going to do, we're going to have a little B&Q vegetable patch and we're going to see how these grow. Okay? Can't say fairer than that. We're going to have to do that. That's our product test, okay? So at the end of the year, we'll see if B&Q cut the mustard. All right, there we are. Beginner's vegetable collection. Uh, that's that. Uh, as you can see, you can buy lots of different things. Onions, I think this is the onion bit. Uh, and uh, flowers. But let's not worry about them. Right, let's go and see what other seeds that they sell here at the B&Q. Here we are. Right, so what else do they sell at B&Q? Well, we've got thousands of things, to be honest. Uh, Verb, we're doing loads of stuff here. We're doing lots of flowers. They're looking at about 150, 120, uh, something like that. Uh, not very expensive. Uh, we've got Sutton stuff here. Lots of stuff here from Sutton's. Uh, more Verb and Sutton. Well, basically, it seems to be Verb and Sutton's. So, uh, lots of seeds. Um, more herb gardens uh, and salad gardens. Uh, so, basically, you can buy a big pack like this. All right, big pack like this. Uh, and that's 498 seems to be the sort of price we're looking at, really. There, 498 for that. Okay. Um, stick that back in the right place. There we are. Um, so, they've just got loads of things up here. Um, to be honest, not sure what to get. I think we might just close our eyes and pick them off the shelf. So uh, there we are, lots of seeds. Right then, here we are. We're looking at different things and we're looking at uh, irrigation systems. Now, as you know that I've made my own irrigation system with some screws and some bits of pipe work and, and that sort of stuff. But you can buy the proper stuff from hose lock. Now, Hose lock are very good. Uh, you can get all the different nozzles, all the different drippers, all the different spikes. All you need is a huge wallet. Let's face it, it's not cheap, but it will work. Uh, my mine doesn't always work, or it gets a little bit stuck. But I didn't pay anything for it. Um, you can get all the different things. Look, look at this. This is uh, some six nozzle sprayers. There we go. Brilliant stuff. Um, that's going to cost you six quid. So. You Oops, if you work it out, it's going to get quite expensive. Um, not to say this stuff is good quality stuff. You pay for what you get. So if you've got a garden and you want to keep it looking beautiful, get all this stuff, it's brilliant. If you've got an allotment, maybe not so much because let's face it, someone's going to come and nick it. All right, you put decent stuff on your allotment, it will go. Um, but if you want something for your garden, come and have a look at all this, this is brilliant. Uh, Let's have a look over there, because we've got some stuff that I actually brought over there and used in my irrigation system last year. Here we are. So then what did I use in my irrigation system? Well, I used some hose pipe that I brought from just down there. It was the verb value stuff. It's hose pipe in the end. What, you know, how complicated can it get? And I used some of these. These are connectors um, to connect things together. Uh, well, not things, hose pipes, okay? So we've got hose pipe connectors and we've got end stops with stuff like that. These, the blue ones on the top shelf, are a quid. You can't go wrong, okay? Uh, you go down a little bit, the verb ones, all right, which are, uh, they're better made. They are better made uh, and they feel nicer. Three quid, oh sorry, 375, 275, you know, so you're look, looking at an extra 150, something like that, uh, if you go to verb. Uh, hose lock, you start getting a little bit more expensive, but of course, 
These are, you know, you can send these to the moon and back and they'll still be in the same place. Uh, five quid. Um, and there you are. Now, the, these are the things that uh, you can't get cheap, really. The connectors, they're about three quid. That'll connect your bits together, OK? So you get one of them. You can interchange these. These are all, all the same. So that'll go in there, you see. And another one goes in there and you can put everything together. So uh, if you want to make yourself an irrigation system, uh, and you don't, don't want to spend a fortune, just come and get the bits from here, you can put it all together. You've got your splitters look, like that, here we are. That's a hose lock splitter, that's about 425, um, but that will save you loads of time and hassle. You only have to buy it once, okay, so that's that. And if your seals go, replacement seals, there you are, okay. So uh, there we are with our irrigation system. Um, hope this is helping, I don't know if it's helping at all. Um, but we're having a look around. Now, I think it's about time we did some shopping, so let's go and have a little shop around. He's not used to speaking, he just performs. Yeah, exactly. Right then, we're at being cute and we're going to see if we can get something for free. I'm going to speak to this man here. It's Nigel. Hello, Nigel, how are you? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. He's fine, he's very natural, isn't he? That's very good. Now, Nigel, I've been having a look around your store, it's lovely. It's very nice, you must have a very good uh, staff here. We have a good night crew team, I know that. Good night crew team. Very nice indeed, very nice indeed. Now, now, Nigel, I've been looking at your stuff. Can you give me something for, for, for nothing? Yes. Good, there we go. There we are, b and Q's giving me something for nothing. Don't try this at yours, they'll kick you out. Let's go and see what we can get. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, this is the lady who's got all the stuff. This is Karen, there we go, Karen. There you go, thank you very much, this is my list. Thank you very much, do you mind being on film? I'm not a lover, but there you go. You're not a lover, isn't she doing a good job, everybody? Now. Here's my list, okay? Here's my list, and we're going to see what we can get with it. All right, uh, there's a trolley over there. Here we go. Right then, first thing on our list, everybody, we have got three B and Q grow tunnels with net covers. They're ten ninety eight each. Let's have a look. What we got? Uh, one, two. All right, we get that out of the way. What else have we got? Another one. Just enough. There we go. Three net tunnels. Uh, they've got quite a nice fine mesh on them, I think. Um, but when we get them back to the allotment and put them up, we'll have a closer look. There we go. Let's move on. Okay, now we've got um, B and Q large 72 cell propagator. Right, what we got here? There we go. This looks like the one. 72 cell propagator. Right, we'll stick that in the trolley. 4.98. Moving on. What we got now? Weed old fast acting weed killer. Three liters. This is the one. I thought I was going to get a small one, but I'm getting a large one. It says it's going to kill everything visibly in one hour. Well, not kill it, but we'll see some effects in an hour. We're sticking it in the trolley. Right, next we've got some fleece Guardman Frost Guard. Here we are. Hello, people. All right. There we go. Frost Guard. It's 598. Let's stick it in the trolley. We're going to use it to protect our carrots from the carrot fly. Brilliant. Moving on. So to get rid of our slugs and snails, we're going to use a uh, Bayer and Garden Slug and Snail Killer. 398, let's get on with it. Right, we've already seen it, we're going to buy it. Beginner's Vegetable Collection, uh, 498. It's going to be a bargain. Let's go. What have we got? We've got a dwarf French bean. Let's buy it. Two quid, there you go. One of the things they didn't have, uh, I'm going to replace it, I'm going to get some potatoes. So I'm going to get some um, Pentland Javelin and uh, Maris Piper. There you go, two bags, six quid. Right, also on the list we've got Miracle Grow Fruit and Vegetable Plant Food. Let's stick it in the trolley and get out of here. Right, we're going to get ourselves a sieve. Which sieve are we going to get? We're not going to get the silver one, we're going to get the black one, okay? It's simpler, there's nothing to go wrong. It is 7.98. Let's stick it in the trolley. Moving on. Right, I've just got myself a new water butt tap um, because the one I put on the other day I think is leaking. So uh, we've got that. Uh, someone else had to get it for me because of the high winds at the moment. Uh, everything's all over the place, so it wasn't really safe for me to go and get it. So there we are, new water butt tap. In the basket, <clears throat> let's go. Spoke about this earlier. We're going to get some secateurs. We're going to get the Verve ones. They're 6 98 and they're going to work a treat. Now, I think we're nearly done. Uh, now we've got to try and get out the store without paying for it. Here we go. 
So here we are uh, having a rest after our shopping and our expeditioning around uh, B&Q. Uh, we've got all our shopping, here we are. Um, but I hear you cry, how has he got this all for free? Well, basically, I came into the store and told them what I was up to. Uh, and they said, OK then, uh, we'll, we'll let you have £100 to spend how you like in the B&Q garden centre. Then I got off the floor and got back up again. But apparently they do have funds in their B&Q uh, budgets to help out community projects, uh, a bit like mine. Uh, but you do have to go and prove yourself. You know, you can't just walk in and say, uh, give me some stuff and I'll give it to you, because they do like to sell some things. All right, so uh, there we are. So that's how I got it. Uh, also, um, I have got a little bit of a part-time job here at B&Q, which might have helped a little bit. But to be honest, if you're a community uh, project and you want some help, go and see your local B&Q, because they might give you a few pennies to help out, all right? Uh, they help out schools as well. Uh, so that's pretty good. So uh, all that said, I'm going to uh, drink up my coffee. Well, there's no coffee in there. I ain't got any money to buy any, to be honest. Um, I'm going to um, drink up and then try and get out of this place without paying for it. So wish me luck, and we'll see you in a bit. Right, so here we are people, we have now finished our shopping at B&Q. We've got all our stuff and also uh, Nigel, the manager, said uh, go and help yourself some, to some summer bulbs. Obviously they are starting to sprout but we're going to shove them in the ground and see what happens, okay? So, shopping uh, list got, all for free, thanks very much B&Q, let's take it away. You're right, marvellous, I have no idea who he is. Right, just got to get it in the car, see ya. So there you go, there's the end of our adventure at B&Q. We've got some stuff, we're going to stick it in the car, we're going to go home. Uh, and over the next few weeks we're going to see how the stuff works. So, from Mr Sam the Allotment Man, thanks for watching and happy growing. <laughs>